how to make your own configuration on a PDZ Pro for two different PDZ cameras. Um, the process is the same if you're using a PDZ Fly or a PDZ Extreme. So if you don't have the PDZ Pro, you follow the same steps with one of the other controllers. So first let's open the firmware updater, go to the online configuration, and pick a default configuration that closest matches your needs. So since we have two different types of cameras we want to add, we're going to take one of the default configurations that has two types of cameras because that already has the base structure you'll need and it just makes it go a lot quicker and a lot easier for you. Now if you find that one of the default configurations half meets your needs, then I would start with that one. So if you have bird dog cameras and Panasonic PTZs, then I would choose either the New Tech plus Panasonic or the Pan PTZ Optics plus Panasonic because then you only have to change half of the configuration to meet your needs. So let's do one where we're going to change the entire configuration. Uh, you'll follow the same steps if you're only changing half the configuration. You will just simply do it for half of it instead of the whole thing. We're going to take the Bird Dog P200 and Panasonic PTZ Optics configuration, go to Advanced, add the devices we want. So we'll do MinRay and Bolin. Now if you're picking a camera that has multiple device cores associated with it, like the Bolin here, we have two different Bolin device cores. Make sure you're selecting the Bolin type that you want. I'm going to use the 7. Add your device cores, save them. And now you want to keep the device cores that were already there because those will hold the places in the configuration that you need. If you take them out, they'll erase from the configuration and then it's similar to starting from complete scratch. So we save that, go to the controller configuration, and I like to start by changing the state names. So how the configuration works for two different PDZ cameras is we have all the actions associated with one camera in one state and all the actions for another camera in another state so that you just switch states when you're switching cameras. Save that. It's always important to save regularly in case for some something happens. I then like to go to all the extra little section settings just to make sure there's no camera specific things in there. I don't see anything. These are all just assigning local colors. So that's good. Then let's go over to the camera select. And let's change the name here. And this is just for our purposes. This does not show up like this on the and you don't need to do the same number of cameras we do. You only have two cameras that are different, that's okay. So if we look here, these won't have to change. These aren't related to a specific brand of camera, which is nice. Um, but you'll notice that everything we want for Bolin is going to have to be in Mem A. And everything we want for Min Ray is going to be associated with Min B. Mem B, sorry. Um, 
if you do have, you know, four and four cameras of each, but you want them to be camera numbers associated with, say, your switcher, so you want cam one through four, and then you want camera five through eight instead, then you'll change that into display number. So that's here, and that'll be the camera number that it comes up as. Here you would change this to camera 5. It'll still be the MinRay camera 1, but you'll see it on the controller as camera 5. Again, that's completely up to you and your workflow. So I'm going to save that. And again, we really didn't have to change much there. But now we're going to start having to change things up here. Again, I try to start with the easier ones. Here we'll have the presets. So now you can see where we have it split with everything here will be Bolin. Currently it's the bird dog and we're going to change that. And everything here will want to be Minray. Currently it's the PDC optics. So to avoid some confusion, let's say we don't want to see options for the bird dog or the PDC optics, and we don't want to see them for the min ray, because we're only going to be working with the bolin right here. So search for your preset. There you go. And remember, you want mem A. So this way, no matter which camera for the bolin you select, this will be the preset for that camera. Start with one, we don't need to worry about a label because on the PDZ Pro there is no display here. If you're on a PDZ Fly, then you would choose something like label number, preset X cam, so it'll say preset one, and then it'll indicate which cam number you have selected in the camera selector. Use the, press down the shift key, press copy, this will bring up the autofill thing, and we want to know we're changing only this parameter. So one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll do an increment of one. That didn't work so well. So that was three. Let's skip this. This will be four. Sometimes things act a little quirky. Just inset them where we need. And we had to go back because this one showed up wrong. Just a two and three. Close that. Save this. And now we'll just check everything here is Bolin. Wonderful. And now we'll do the same for the minray. See if this works. Yes. Ah, if you notice, I forgot to switch the mem group here, and I instead have the camera. Um, that would be a problem for your configuration because then you only have presets for camera one. So if you notice something like that, just go back and change it. But it's a little detail like that, which will frustrate you later. Okay, save that. And we have MinRay all down the line, which we want. Go here. There shouldn't be any camera specific things here. This is just for switching the options for your encoders. We can get back to those later. So so this deselect the cameras I don't want. That puts the ones I do want right at the top. So I'll left right pan. 
Okay, switch to your memory group. Now, setting it to memk here will allow you to change the speed later. So we'll have a speed limit thing where you can change the speed of your pan and tilt. And then we go over for the min ray and do the same thing. Remember that was mem b. And now you want a different mem here as well. We'll go two down. Instead of going to L, we'll go to M because we'll use L later. Okay. Make sure you're selecting the correct mem group. This is why we always double check things. The little mistakes. Save and check. These are all MinRay. Got all the right mem group. Same here, mem A, Lin, mem K. Now we'll go over to more complicated, but now it's gonna focus. Do it this way. A focus is where we'll use mem L. This way we can set the speed independent of the pan and tilt for the bolin. And same with min ray, so it's focus. MB, and for this we'll use mem n. Okay. Now you see here that we're going to use shift levels to get to the different sets of parameters that we want. And this is where it gets a little more complicated and you try your best to do one for one switching. Um, again, you can change things up so that it matches your workflow. But try to do a one for one switching first, see how that looks, and then change things as you need. So we'll start with shift level zero. For Remember that a lot of things will start at zero as the first position and not one. So shift level zero, we need to switch this to Bolin, exposure mode, mem A. White balance. Again, not everything will have the same one for one. something like menu, they might even be in a slightly different location. Remember this will be memk, that will be the pan and tilt. The local label for this will be the same, but you can keep a note saying that, okay, you want this to say that it's speed limit for PTZ. So you can write that down and go and check that in a minute. Now for cut two. And this is another reason why you try to choose similar cameras because there you'll see it's most likely that you'll be able to do a one for one changeover. Again, this is going to be for the speed limit for focus. And we'll check with label two in a minute.
We got focus. Oh, I chose the wrong one. This is focus settings. Huh. Don't have time like this one. So we don't have the option for a one for one, but we seem to have various system settings in there. So let's see if there is something that we want. Let's try a stabilizer. If that doesn't work for you. Pick something that does. Okay, we've switched over all of the bird dog to Bolin. Now let's go and work on the Minray side. Remember, this is Mem Group B. Okay, this is another place where we don't have something similar. So Q is in that same category. So that's where we'll choose that. Remember again, speed limit for mem M. This was what we were using for the PTZ speed control. And you see down here, we don't need to change that because that's a system action. So that's going to be the same no matter what device core you put on there, which is nice. Again, there was no tone adjustment. We used hue. There was contrast here. We could go to contrast here. I'm going to go with saturation. Keep in order. You can put the order of these as you wish. Okay. In the PDZ optics, image flip was in the uh, systems settings for that. Here it's not. So you can still get similar without without using the same exact action names again this will be the focus speed that was mem n and again we'll check later to see that the label is correct for what we want Adjustment wasn't there. We did hue, saturation, brightness. Image flip. We already did horizontal, now let's do vertical. And red, last one. So we'll do blue for this side. We've done hue, saturation, brightness. Let's do contrast here. that. Now let's check to see if we have switched over everything. We have gone through all of these buttons. 
So if you click Show Action Overview, you can actually see, you know, again, we don't want any bird dog actions. And this isn't showing any results, which means we've switched over all bird dogs. And PDC Optics, again, nothing showing up. So we've removed all of those. We have successfully removed all the ones we don't want. Make sure it's saved. Go back to the device cores. And now you can remove the ones you don't want. Save that. Go down to the bottom. Add in I don't know what they are in our system, so just pick some. Remember, with the cameras, especially the Visco ones, you can control seven cameras from a single device core. So you kind of want to reserve seven places for MinRay cameras, even if you are only using four MinRay cameras, two MinRay cameras, a single MinRay camera, kind of try to reserve the seven IP addresses that MinRay device core will look for. So we'll go do, well, no, seven here for the Bolin, because that's far enough away from the MinRay that the device cores won't be looking for the same IP addresses. Again, since one device core can connect to multiple cameras, as long as they have sequential IP addresses, you only need a single device core to control multiple MinRay cameras. Save that. Now you'll have your configuration. You can change, if you go to manage configurations, you can change this and call it what you would like. I can't spell, so this will make it easier for you to see what's in there. If it's for specific types of events, you don't have to name it based on the camera. You can name it based on who needs it, for what they need it, whatever you would like. And that automatically saves. So now you would go to Firmware Updater, update the firmware. Good. Now there could have been multiple errors that showed up there um, that would indicate multiple things. Some of the errors are talked about in the installation operations manual, which you can find if you know how to type support manuals. Installation Operations Manual, the PTZ Manual actually talks a little bit about the setup that I've just done. Unisketch Systems Action, those are the system actions that you saw that we had, um, and all the device core manuals. So definitely check those out. Let's see. There we go, it just reset. Did not find the cameras because I did not have the right ones. Remember, 14, 56, save that. The controller will reset itself again. And here you'll see a lot of useful information, which version of our firmware you're on, your controller, your serial number, if you're allowed to save PTC traces after resetting, turning off and on the controller, you cannot with the one I'm using. I'm using an older version of the PTC Pro. Look at your IP address. And I'll show you in a second if you use DHCP what that looks like. I still didn't connect to the cameras. Let me see if I press camera one. There we go. That's connected to the MinRay. Let 
We only have one min ray on the system right now. Cam 2, or cam 1 for the bolin. Again, we only have a single bolin here. So you can see that I have connected to the bolin. And up here, you saw I connected to the min ray. So definitely use the serial monitor to check your connections. Check to see that you entered the IP information properly for your cameras, which you can also see and change here. Now, if you want to use DHCP, where your router assigns the IP address, you can click there. You can also, in the online configuration, do that as well here. To do it through here, it changes it locally. So if you go back and you update firmware again, if you did not change it in the online configuration, then any information you put in on this page will go back to what it was in the online configuration. So it's always good to save, to make the changes in the online configuration as well. So let's try doing DHCP, see what that looks like. Controller is resetting. Oh, did not give me the information I wanted. Just reset it again. Okay, now this will say that it requested a DHCP address and it got it. So it says okay, and then you can see what it is here. One thing that would cause a connectivity issue is if you requested DHCP. And if this says failed, that means it could not get an address from your router or switch. So you should set it a static IP address instead. So check your system, check with your system administrator if you have one, and find out what IP addresses are available on your network. There we go. We've set up a configuration with two different PDZ cameras. Um, as much from scratch as you should need to if you build off the templates that we've already made. So, hope you found this helpful.